Hey everybody, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever the time it is when you're watching this video. Um, the good news is I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Yes, going to go and spend a week in Cyprus, get some sun on my back and try to make myself feel really refreshed and ready to go again on this difficult journey. That is life. Um, anyway, listen, I, I never thought that I would be in a position where I would be happy for a player to actually leave and leave for free just to get them off the books. But that is the sad, sad situation that I'm facing today. If reports are to be believed, Tungai Ondombele is going to be released by Tottenham Hotspur uh, as a free agent with a year left on his contract. Um, that's really, really sad. Really, really sad because that guy has so much talent. It's unbelievable. His poise on the ball, the, the strength that he showed, that he can't be pushed off it. He actually reminded me an awful lot when I first saw him play of Moussa Dumbelli um, in the way that he was, you know, he just kind of drifted past people um, and was able to, uh, to hold on to the ball just effortlessly. And uh, we've just never seen it. We've just never seen it. What we came across was a very lazy player who wasn't interested, who wandered around like one of those road men you see, just wandering the streets, um, looking for to earn a quick few quid here and there. And boy, has he done that, you know. He's um, joined us in, what, 2019? Um and then has been pretty much out on loan for the majority of his time with us. Managed to pick up two league titles in that time. <laughs> Unbelievably, it just shows you that it doesn't matter um, how many titles or how many trophies you have. It doesn't make you a great professional or a legend of the game. Because long when long after Tongai and Dombele stops playing, um, he will be easily forgotten um, by most people that have... Uh, that have seen him play certainly since 2019. It'll be one of those pub quiz quiz questions, you know, who uh, who was signed for X amount of millions of pounds and and disappointed thousands of fans very quickly. <laughs> It'll be one of those quiz quiz questions. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a sad sad situation when you're. Um, happy to see a player just get off the books because it's just a frustration to have him come ambling back in in his flip-flops looking half dishevelled like he's not got a care in the world knowing that he's picking up absolutely crazy money for essentially doing nothing and it's 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 really really disappointing. It sounds like a politician. Crazy money for doing bugger all. Anyway, less of the politics. Um, yeah, so um, I, I'm finding it a quite a strange experience because when he came, he was one of those players that everyone was after. You know, you look at it, you think, what a fantastic player! How cool is this going to be to bring a, a player of this quality and spend this much money just to have this guy come in. And well, I think we were all really excited about it and, uh, you know, expecting big things. And it's just, you know, sometimes you get a player and it doesn't work out. You know, it doesn't work out. They don't fit the system. They don't, it doesn't work or whatever. And they, they go off and you go, we wish them good luck. We hope that it works out somewhere else. Then you get all the luck in the world and you have a decent career. Um, but I have to say for this guy, I'm like, Mate, just go and hang up your boots and go and live in the south of France or something. And, you know, don't pretend to be a footballer because it's just, you're just not prepared to put the work in. And it's a, it's, it's a, a, a really, it's a shame, you, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a disgrace almost, the, the lack of, the, the lack of care he seems to have. Now, I may be doing this guy an absolute total disservice because I don't know him. You only quote what you see, right? And in his just his appearance is one of not giving a shit. 
which is, you know, maybe that's not the case. Maybe he does really give a shit. Maybe he's struggling with mental health. Maybe he's he's struggling with, um, you know, injuries or, you know, a lack of confidence or I don't know, whatever it is. You know, there may be other things around it. So you don't know what's going on in other people's lives, certainly. So, you know, maybe I'm being disrespectful. Maybe I'm, I'm showing him a lack of compassion. And, and if that's the case, then... I unreservedly apologise, but you can only you can only kind of see it from your own perspective. I mean, if you look at it from the other scenario, if you take Ryan Sessignon, for instance, who has also been released, and you think to yourself, you know, he, the term wage thief has been labelled at that guy and, you know, all the rest of it. But that really is unfair because he has really struggled and really suffered. And I said this when I was talking on, on Chris Carlin's show the other day, that I, I actually wish him all the best. I hope he does, you know, get a career after Tottenham. I hope that he can overcome his injury problems and 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 actually get out there and, and really show his talent because he's still a young guy who's got a lot to offer. And uh, I admire his strength of character to keep coming back and keep trying to put it right and, and really show what he's got. So I, I think that's really the two ends of the spectrum, isn't it? You know, you've got this guy who's struggled with injury, who's desperate to play, who just wants to get out there and really prove his worth. And then you've got this other guy who's got all the talent in the world, but just doesn't seem to want to care to do anything with it. So, yeah. So anyway, I, I mean, it's yet to be announced. I haven't seen it officially announced or anything like that, but there are lots of reports all over social media and so on and so forth to say that he is off. And I, for one, think it's probably for the best, probably a, a good deal, save, um, try and save a bit of money on paying a contract, an exorbitant contract, I suspect, because I doubt you'll get another um, another loan out of him, whereas he may be able to go off and... and you know, rip off Saudi Arabia or something for a couple of years. Um, but then, like I say, it's all just about opinions and I might be totally wrong. He might go out there and absolutely smash, you know, a league somewhere and uh, really show his quality and someone's going to get an absolute bargain because the guy does have quality. But we shall see. Time will tell. I'm going to leave it there because I've got me packing to do because I'm off for some sunshine. I'll catch you all when I get back. Have a good one. Up the Spurs.